Catcher, number five, Sofia De La Cruz. College of the Canyons faced off against Santiago Canyon this past Saturday in a doubleheader match. Canyons pitcher Samantha Flores had an IP of seven and a strikeout of three. This was not enough pressure to hold Santiago Canyon back from getting the W in the first game. Even with the amount of teamwork, the Cougars could not connect with the victory from the first game, resulting in an L. First baseman and pitcher Allison Melgar had a lot to contribute in the second game, hitting a homer at the bottom of the fifth with an RBI of three and pitched all six innings with an IP of six. Uh, I usually start out with what my better pitch is, which is going to be my inside most of the time. So I usually start out with that, and if they're not adjusting to it, I usually keep it like that. If not, I know which hitters in the lineup have adjusted to turning on it, and I usually end up going slow outside just to get them off balance a little bit. And if they're not really making that adjustment, then I trust my left side of the field a lot to make those plays for me. Ashlyn Heck homered at the bottom of the third after a one-game suspension against Glendale. With this, she was able to avenge her teammates from the previous game she missed out on, resulting a run that kept the Cougars on top of their game. Julia Fuentes puts the icing on top of the cake for the comeback in Game 2 with the homer breaking the mercy rule. I mean, it always feels good when you come back and make a big play like that and the girls start stepping it up. It takes a little while because you look at it, how does that game start it? They got a two-run shot right out of the gate, right? That ball down the line, that was kind of tough. But we answered back, which was good. That's when I knew these girls were going to start stepping up their game. I mean, I tip my hat to those girls for that second game stepping up. I think our team was very hungry that second game, and we all wanted to get our hits and get everybody on. And you could tell that the energy was different, definitely during the second game. We all wanted to hit and make something happen for the team. For more information about our Cougar softball team, check out cocathletics.com. This is Kyle Kamoto reporting for Canyons News.